Lots to do in the front yard over the next couple of days. It's gonna start right now. I just finished mowing and we're all ready to go. I'm going to dethatch the front yard today, get all the excess material out and try a little something new as well. So with that, let's get started. So in the past, when it comes to uh, dethatching activities around here, I would pull out the Greenworks electric dethatcher and get it done. And it's served me well, it's done good. Uh, I still have it, obviously. Wanted to put it up against the competition today, though. I've got the Sunjo dethatcher and scarifier, and I wanted to see what this thing could do. Wanted to go over the differences with you, some things that I've noticed just as even I was putting this together this morning, and just kind of give you a little review along the way. I'm also going to mark off an area just for the scarifier attachment that came with this. So it should be a lot of fun today. Gonna go through these and uh, tell you what I think. Now both of these are corded power. So you have to plug them in. Um, I know that they're starting to come out with battery operated units now, which is pretty awesome. I'd be anxious to try those in the future, but obviously that's not gonna happen today. The Greenworks obviously doesn't come with any other interchangeable attachments. It's just the dethatcher. It's just the power rake tines underneath. And those work great. They pull out a lot of material. It does a really good job. But if you want to use a scarifier, if you want to have that kind of mode of bringing material out of the lawn, you're going to have to go with a different um, tool for that. So that's the nice thing about the Sunjo is you have the rake attachment and then it's just two bolts that come out, two 10 millimeter bolts that you can pull out and then this comes out pretty easy and then you can throw in the scarifier and this is the scarifier attachment. It's just a series of vertical blades that will come through the grass like this and just kind of cut through it and loosen up material, open up the soil a little bit. I'm gonna try both of them today and see how it goes. The other thing to note too is that the Sunjo comes with a bag. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on there just because if you've ever dethatched a lawn, you know how much material you pull out and it does not hold a lot of material, I can already tell you that. One other important thing to note between the difference in these two, I don't know if you can see it just looking this way, but this one is considerably taller uh, as far as handle height goes. So if you're a taller person, I'm 5'10", if you're a taller person, this is really nice. Uh, you don't have to really like lift up the machine or anything to get it into a good position. The Greenworks comes to below my waist right here, just below my waist. So when I'm using it, I'm lifting it up like this to move it forward. These handles come up to my stomach. So a little bit higher on the handle and I don't have to feel like I need to lift when I use this, I'll probably just be pushing it, which is kind of nice. So to give you, bless you, bless you. So to give you just one more perspective on this, the Sunjo is about as tall as a almost six year old and the Greenworks about as tall as a three year old. No matter which one you decide to go with, there will be links for both of these in the description, but just make sure whatever one you decide to go with, read the instructions, follow the instructions. A lot of people have issues with these because they're using um, the wrong gauge power cord and they're intermixing power cords to try and get more length out of it, but it's you have to read the instructions to understand that if you don't use the right power cord, you're gonna burn up the motor or it's gonna underperform, things like that. Now, obviously there's no way to predict the amount of material that's in any given spot of the yard, but I've decided just to kind of make a line here with these two flags and I'm gonna split it up so that this side of the flag will be the Greenworks test and this side of the flag will be the Sunjo test just until the tree line are about that. So this is gonna be the power rake uh, attachment and then I'll find another area somewhere else and we'll play around with the uh, scarifier.
All right, so I just finished both passes and I'm ready to show you the differences and let you kind of decide for yourself first what you think. Here we go. So I'll start with the green works. And as you can see, there is material that came out of here, which is good. But the Sun Joe, look at this. There's a pile here and it just kind of barfed it out at the end of this pass. And then same on these too. Um, lots more material came out, like significantly more material came out of here. This is, this is pretty impressive. Um, I don't know why that material is on the, the grass and not in the bag. Uh, let me see what's in the bag. If anything, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, dude, yes. Look at that. We've got half a bag full in there too. So that's kind of cool. That's pretty significant for me. Is the bag worth it? No, because you've got to clean this up anyways. The Sun Joe definitely wins. I did have both of them on the lowest setting and just went with it there. Figured that was the easiest way to compare them. Uh, another thing I liked about the Sun Joe is I can start this thing up with one hand. The way that they've got their handle configured, it's just the one handle here on the side. And then there's a button that you push here. So you depress this button and then while you're depressing, you pull the handle back and that will start it. And I found that I can do that with my pinky. I can push it in, pull this, and I'm good to go. I can't do that with the Greenworks, not that it matters. Um, the button is on the inside of the Greenworks. I guess I can use my leg. I can push it and use my leg. See, that doesn't even work, but it's not plugged in, idiot. But that one I can start with one hand. I thought that was kind of nice. I did take advantage of that while I was using it. So that was worth noting in my opinion. On the Sunjo, it's much clearer to understand what setting you're on. Now to adjust the setting on the Sunjo, there's several different settings here on the side. They're clearly labeled. Um, all you do is press this in and then push. Push it down to select what setting you want. So I thought that was kind of nice. Um, and you can clearly see it going up uh, so all the way down on this bottom is the highest. And then if you want to go the other way, that's the lowest setting. On the Greenworks, you have to not only do this on both sides, but you've got to pull this out and then twist it. And then whatever's on the bottom is your setting. So this is the lowest setting. And then there's a middle setting and a high setting. So you have three settings on this one. And then you have five settings on this one. So you have a little bit more range and, and variability with this one. The one thing I don't like about either of these, as you can see these lines, it's not very wide. So if you have a huge yard to do, and thankfully I'm only doing the front yard today, it's about 2000 square feet. But if you've got a big yard, like my backyard's 8,500 feet, this is not the right tool for that job. And neither is that one because they're both about the same as far as, as far as, uh, the width of the pass goes. Yeah, I would probably get a bigger machine for the backyard, but for this, this works fine. These are fine. If you have a small yard, you're in great shape. The cord limitation is not that big of a deal in this, in this yard here, but in the backyard, it for sure is. Also, just for fun, I decided to drop the height of cut on the Time Master and vacuum up the material from both sides to kind of compare the material pulled out. And I think this is the fun part. So here is the Greenworks material here. As you can see, that's everything that I could pull up uh, off of this area with the Time Master, dumped it out into a pile here. And the Sun Joe, there you go. The thing pulled out with the Sun Joe here. No, I will tell you that scarifier attachment is why I bought this. It's much more aggressive and as you can see you're actually combing deep grooves into the canopy of the grass here and you're really opening that up and allowing for room for this to spread. 
And look at all this extra material that you're pulling out. This is pulling out way more material. I wanna go over the entire yard with this, finish it up. I'm gonna do two passes. I'll go in one pass in each direction and that should do it for this project. So I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, this is a comparison that I've been wanting to do for some time now. And that dang thing's been sitting in a box in my garage for a couple months, just waiting for today. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that's a good comparison for you. If there's anything else that you're curious about that maybe I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comments down below and I'm happy to try and figure that out for you or um, let you know. And uh, like I said earlier, there's a link for both of these in the description below and you could pick one up for yourself if that's something that you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.